Good morning. Uh, happy Monday. Today for math, we're going to focus a little bit on some vocabulary as we get into fractions today. All right, so just a quick couple of review words with our fraction vocabulary. First word is the word sum. A sum is the total when you add. Okay, just as, again, a quick reminder, an example of what the sum is. When you add any two numbers or more, okay, the total is the sum. So I'm underlining the word total and eight because eight is the total in that particular problem. Okay, eight is the sum. Number two is fraction. A fraction is a number less than one whole. An example would be two thirds. So anything that doesn't have the same number as, an, as numerator and denominator, anything where the numerator is less than what you see at the bottom as their denominator would be a fraction of a number. So a number that represents less than one whole. So when you say it's a fraction of the whole, it means just a piece or a part of that whole number. Unit fraction. Unit fraction is where is when there is a one as the numerator. Just a couple of examples again. What is it that all three of these fractions have in common? Yep, there is a one as the numerator in each one of those. One on top, one on top, one on top. That top position is called, again, review that numerator. And bringing us gradually into numerator. Numerator is the number above the fraction line, okay? What is that fraction line? It's that thing that separates the numerator from the number below the numerator. Okay. The numerator, again, is the number above the fraction line. Fraction line is the number that separates the two numbers. Arrow points to the one on top. We're doing numerator first. What do you think is going to be the next vocab that we cover? He said denominator. Nice job. Denominator is the number below the fraction line. Again, the five is in the denominator position. All right, very quick um, fraction vocabulary review. If you need any help with any of these words or understanding a little bit more, reach out to your teacher. Your teacher would love to help you. Just make sure you do reach out so that we know what you need, okay? You can pause or rewind this video as many times as you need to to make sure you're understanding the words denominator, numerator, unit fraction, fraction, and sum. You will need to know these words and their meaning in this week's lesson. Okay, have a great day and I'll see you later.